So we're gonna demo the screen capture and create an egg. So to start out with, we'll first change the document settings. So units are inches, and then we're gonna start a sketch. So let's select the ZX plane. Um, so the egg will be, let's say, 2.5 inches tall, and it will be what, 1.75 inches. So now let's put this on the center constraint. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this, what is this, coincident constraint, and then move this over to about the center. Get rid of move this. Okay, okay, let's actually make this guideline a little bit shorter. D for dimension. Make this two point three six five. Okay. And make move this a little bit lower. Okay. Now we'll turn off the construction line and create a spline for the outside of the egg. So click on that point. That point. Hover over the check to finish the spline line and we're going to toggle these control points to make it more egg shaped. This looks pretty much right. We can finish sketch. So what we're going to do is re we will revolve this curve around this axis to make the egg shape. So profile, select the curve. Oh, actually, I think they want you. Oops. They want you to make a the, there. They want you to make a profile. So select profile. This profile. And then, yep. Okay. So there you go. There's the egg. 
Now maybe we'll we'll also make a egg holder for this. So we can turn off the bodies, turn on the sketches, edit, sketch one. Okay. Let's make a holder for this egg. So we'll use the spline option again. So with the spline, to make curves with like angles, you basically draw several splines. Let's see, a little egg holder. Then finish the profile. Select as a profile. So do the same thing, select, axis, you can select here, and OK. Oh, there you go. So here's an egg, body one's the egg, body two is the egg. Thank you.